Copenhagen Airport Saturday evening, extremely quiet. <laughs> International Airport. A lot of people here. It's Sunday afternoon and uh, met up with Henry. We're gonna do training over here, so that's gonna be nice. It is Monday morning in Hong Kong, and uh, I'm on the way down to have breakfast with the other facilitators that is Henrik and Ahmed. And then we're going to start the leadership program. I'm looking so much forward to it. It's going to be interesting working with leadership in Asia. I've done that before a lot of times, but uh, never in this organization. So that's going to be interesting. Look at this. Henrik Stahl. Newspaper still there, so he's not out yet. <laughs> Take a look at the view over here. That was actually not that interesting. <laughs> Not at all. First day of training in Hong Kong is over. It's been a great day. Participants are from all over uh, Asia. Hong Kong, China, Singapore, Korea, Japan. So it's a nice spread of people from all over Asia participating in the program and I like that. Now I might have had a few concerns coming out here saying I want to work with new, these new leadership philosophies in an Asian culture and are they ready for that or does the culture say that doesn't work or... And I must say that all those concerns have absolutely been wrong because they're very eager to lean in. They can see that there's a need of new leadership mentalities. They can see that the younger generations are coming into the market having new ideas about how to be led and so on. So, so I actually feel that they do lean in, they do want to learn, they do want to change the leadership mindset. So, so I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that and, and um, I enjoy working with them. There can be a bit of language differences once in a while, but still they show a lot of uh, patience, they show a lot of willingness to bid in, even though they might have difficulties with some of the words. I do have difficulties with some of the words as well, but uh, but it's I don't see that it has become a real problem. It makes it difficult sometimes, but but still, it seems to be a problem that is easy to overcome, and um, and that's been great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna finish talking to you guys. Then I'm gonna go online uh, on my YouTube channel, putting last week vlog out to you guys. And uh, that will be the end of the day for me. I have to answer a few emails and that will be the end of the day for me. And then tomorrow morning at uh, 7.45, I will meet up with uh, Henrik and Agnet, prepare the, the training of tomorrow. And uh, then it's gonna be a new great day starting. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, finishing the YouTube upload for you guys and then hitting the sack. See you tomorrow. After the second day of training, we went out uh, for dinner in, uh, in the evening and uh, Agnet, Henrik and I decided to walk home from, from the venue where we were having the dinner and uh, that was probably a bad choice because we couldn't find our way around Hong Kong and it, it took us quite a while to find a way back. This is us being lost. <laughs> We're actually so lost that we have to ask for help, looking at our own phone. This is crazy. <laughs> it's just stupid. It's kind of like a road trip with us being extremely lost. And even though that we have a map, it doesn't really work. We just want to see, you know, the road from uh, from every side. Okay. But the good thing is we found a place where we can buy charging cables, which is good. So we met this met, um, pharmaceutical guy who helped us under the right direction. Agne took over again. It went wrong. <laughs> but now... I'm the coordinator. Now I'm back in charge. Yes. 
and I and found. We were sure many places that we have been here before. Yes. How did and it go this from? Is the direction. How did it go from I to we? Doesn't matter. No. <laughs> we're on the right no. track. Thanks to uh, Henrik for some reason. <laughs> Agnes? Yeah. yeah. You've got us home? Yeah. I'm, I'm very proud uh, to work with you now. I was a bit disappointed earlier. I am, yeah, me too. And you, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did you did you did you realize that the reason it went so wrong was because of Henrik? Yes. That the minute he went down the escalator. <laughs> Yes, and we said, "Are you sure that's the right escalator?" He says, "Yes, come here." Yes, come yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and we yeah. we, we, we needed, tried. Yes, we tried to give him feedback. So, Henry, yeah, how do you feel? I feel good I, because I, now I can see the front door to the hotel. Are you okay with you? Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I know, I, I know. I yeah, it was a big mistake, for sure. <laughs> Say it again. It was a big mistake. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. It's the last day here in Hong Kong and I want to show you something that I find a bit strange. Come with me. So one of the things is that I use a hairdryer and here in Hong Kong they have a hairdryer and it has a drawer which is good. It's fixed in the bottom of the drawer. Look at this. And that makes it kind of difficult to work with because the char isn't that long, so I'm getting extremely big bicepses and triceps by trying to use this hair blower. I'm gonna go with her hair today. After the third day of training, it seemed like everybody was happy and and uh, Henrik Agnes and I felt good about the, the work we've done and it seems like the participants gave us a lot of good feedback and actually got a few emails coming back home uh, that's been very positive as well. So. All in all, I'm very happy with the work we've done. So after the training that ended at noon uh, Wednesday, Henrik and I went went out to do a bit of sightseeing in in Singapore and spend a bit of time on our own to, to do a bit of shopping and kind of like just being out there for a while. We are done with the training. We have uh, half a day experiencing Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, and uh, it started out well with uh, Henrik showing us the way around, which is good. It works. We're going to the ferry. Got it. What do you expect to see here? Nothing right now. No. Okay. So you have no expectations. We just go to. Oh, for this now. Well, it would be nice with a good place to have something to eat and. Uh, Lots of beer. Beer, big beer. Did we deserve it? Oh yeah. I oh yeah. I just left Henrik for a while because I wanted to walk around on my own for a bit because even though we like working together, we like being together, sometimes it's just nice to be on your own. So he's out looking for gear or whatever he needs for his family or whatever. And I'm walking around here looking if I can find anything for my family. So right now it's just relaxing on my own for the next couple of hours. I'll meet Henry again in a bar and um, yeah, that's gonna be it. We're leaving Hong Kong. We're leaving Hong Kong. How, have it, how has it been? It's, it's been a fantastic trip. I wanna ask you a question. Mm -hmm. We have been teaching Asians leadership in a way that we believe is the right way with Western philosophies. How has it been? They really surprised me. I think it went really, really well and, and right from the start they, they did as we asked them to do. So they were, they were open, they were not shy, they... Did you feel they... We're talking about leaning in, did they do that? They did, they did, definitely. We're gonna have a problem in 5 meters, ten, 2 meters, 1 meter. Now, now. quick stop over in uh, Helsinki, Finland and now I'm on the way to the plane bringing me back to Copenhagen, but I'm running a bit late. And then we came back here, uh, I came back uh, Thursday morning and um, 
the last couple of days I've been working here from my studio uh, at home working on a project where I really need your help but I'll get back to that so coming back from Hong Kong what are what are my key takeaways now the key takeaways is definitely that the we can see that the need for leadership change is worldwide. We saw it when we were in Poland earlier this year, we saw it in Canada, we saw it in the US, and, and now that we've been to Asia as well, we've definitely seen it there as well. There is a need because we see the young people coming up, growing up, wanting something different, expecting something different of management and management styles. So this is definitely something we need to take into consideration worldwide. Do we need to change in the same direction, all of us? I don't think so. I think there's there's differences in what is needed in different cultures, and that is definitely something to think about. Some of the things that I find very interesting is some of the work that Erin Meyer made about understanding cultural differences and the cultural differences in languages and so on. And and that is definitely something that if you haven't read anything about Erin Meyer, she's one of the top 40, uh, top 50 thinkers. Check her out. She's absolutely brilliant. Um, so I've taken away that there's changes going on out there and and leadership change is needed definitely uh, and and I believe that if we think more about working with the modern leadership philosophies the more compassionate leadership philosophies the more investing in others leadership philosophies I think we can benefit a lot and I think that that can keep businesses and companies survive in the markets that they're in but uh, that, these are my reflections. If you have anything, any comments about that, if you have any thoughts about it, please put them in the comment box below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to see what you think about this, about the world is changing. Also, if you've seen the earlier episodes where I'm talking about how leadership philosophies has to add up with our strategy and the organization that we have, and if you have any comments about that as well, please share it in the comment section below. I would really appreciate that. But also need your help for something else. And uh, for the last two days, uh, Thursday and Friday, I've been sitting here in my studio. I'm working on creating a soundtrack for a movie that I'm making for the end of next year. And it's a movie about leadership. It's called Leadership, the movie. And I'm working on creating a soundtrack. But I also would like your input on, if we create a movie about leadership, I have my ideas what have to be in there, definitely. But I would like to know what would you like to have in a movie like that? And if possible, if I think it adds up, I will bring in your thoughts or your stories as well, or, or your perspectives or whatever you can share with me. And I will put that in the movie. I want to change the way that we look at leadership and leadership, teaching leadership and so on. So I want to create a movie. If you have any ideas, if you've seen other people who've done that, please share those links below and, and, and enlighten me and the rest of those who are following this channel in uh, in different ways of leadership and what leadership is. I would really, really appreciate that. That would mean a lot to me. If you enjoyed this episode of the vlog, please hit the like button. And if you enjoyed the idea about us creating a community where we can talk about leadership in the future, then please smash that subscribe channel so you can be a part of this community. And if you wanna invite your friends, then please share this vlog. Don't have to see that I'm a